Yo guys, what's going on? Monix here. Um, I got a request for a tutorial in Adobe After Effects and somebody wanted to know how to do a simple uh, loading bar. Um, it actually is quite simple. Uh, you know, you can just do this in Adobe After Effects in a matter of minutes. Um, so hopefully this tutorial will help you guys. And you know, this loading bar, you can use it in a variety of ways. I've seen people use it in intros. I've seen people use it in more than one way in edits. Um, so you know, there's a variety of ways that you could use it. But this is just an example. Um, right here, just loading. A loading clip underneath, and then so basically, um, what you want to do is you want to open up Adobe After Effects. Um, you want to make a new composition, um, 1280 by 720, uh, frame rate 29.97, and the duration doesn't matter. Uh, make sure the background color is black though. Um, so then, what you want to do is you want to make a new uh, solid. Um, now, what you, what you want to do is, you, as you guys saw in the edit, um, right here, I'll go back to it. Um, you see the outside of, of this right here? It's white. Um, if you, whatever color you want that outside to be, um, make the solid. But since I had it white in the edit, I will do it white right now. So, okay. Um, so then what you want to do is you want to go into your rectangle tool um, and just make a nice rectangle. Um, basically, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you know, it's all it's all preference. How long you want it, how uh, you know, how um, whatever you guys get it. It's all preference. Um, so basically, what you want to do is you want to select this layer, and you want to go up to layer, and then all the way down to pre-compose, and you want to pre-compose the layer, and then select move all attributes into the new composition. Just make sure that this is clicked. This is very important. Just make sure that this is clicked. Um, hit OK. Um, then what you want to do is you want to re, re um, make another rectangle over this. Um, so basically just like that. Um, it doesn't really matter the width right now or anything like that. So then select the mask and hit Control T. Um, and basically this will be just like if you guys have ever used Photoshop, it'll allow you to like move the mask now. So just move it a little bit down and stuff. Okay, and then what you want to do is you want to go into here. Um, where it says add and change that to subtract. Um, so now basically you'll see that we have the white background. Um, so if you guys just want to fix it, hit control T again. Uh, so you know you just fix it to however long or short you want it. Because this is going to be where you see the way where, where you're going to see the red. Um, so just make sure that it's, you know, the white is however thick you want it to be or whatever you want. It doesn't really matter at this point for me, but there you go. You guys get a, you guys get the idea. So basically, you have that right now. Um, then you want what you, what you want to do is make another layer, new solid, and this is this solid is basically going to be the inside. So I'll make it red once again. Uh, but then again, it can be any color that you want. Um, so you do that, and then what you do is you turn off turn off the red solid, so you're able to see this again, and just go back into your rectangle tool. And you basically just want to mask the inside of this, you know, however, uh, there you go. Just mask the inside of that, and then you want to turn it back on. And as you can see right there, we have the inside. You know, I know I know it's not perfect right now, but you guys basically get the, basically get the idea. Um, what did I do here? Um, so, yeah, you guys get the idea with that. Um, but as you can see here... It's not moving, you know, there's no animation. So what you have to do is you have to go into the mask, click the mask layer, hit M, um, keyframe the mask path, just hit that little stopwatch, and then go forward however long you want it to last. And then basically what you do is you hit shape, and you see where it says left and it says 258, hit copy, and then paste it right into the right one. And I don't know why it didn't work, but paste. No, <laughs> it's whatever, 258, you guys get the idea. Um, so then basically what will happen is it'll it'll be backwards. Um, so what, what you have to do is just simply switch the keyframes and then there you go. You have a loading bar. Um, you know, this one isn't perfect right now. Um, you know, this one is obviously a lot better than this one. Um, but there you guys go. This is just a simple loading bar. And, you know, like I said, there's a variety of ways that you can use this. 
Um, but anyway, guys, it's been Monix HD. This is my first tutorial in Adobe After Effects. Let me know if you guys want to you want me to do any more of them. Peace out.